Hi guys, welcome back to Caramia's Corner. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is reveal day for our 12 days of Christmas thrift swap 2022. I'm super excited. This is a Christmas collaboration. And here is the list of the participants. My co-hosts are BB's Closet Creations, Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic. And here are the six other channels that are participating. We have By Mimi With Love, just journaling with Possum Patty, Meet the Shreds, Angela and Dave, My Paper Journey, MJ Reyes, Mystical Misty One, and Side Gig Crafts, that is Tanya's channel. A quick recap, we had a $12 budget for a scavenger style thrifting uh, challenge and we were to wrap all the 12 items that we were able to thrift from our either a thrift store flea market or our own, very own thrifted stash at home so it makes a fun advent calendar style unboxing for our swap partners now this is also a giveaway all you need to do is Make sure you are a visible subscriber to my channel. Do the channel hop and watch everyone's videos from December 10th, which has the same title, 12 Days of Christmas Thrift Swap 2022, and today, December 12th, so that that way we can add you to the list for the drawing and you'll get a chance to win a mystery craft bag, which was thrifted in a $10 Dollar Tree bag. So if you want all the details, I'll link it down in the description box because I'm too excited to get on and show you what I ended up getting. All right, guys, let's get started. Here is the list of the 12 prompts that we had. First one was the Christmas story. We had to find a book with a Christmas theme. So I went to Half Price Books and I was lucky to find this golden book for a dollar and it has the same title, The Christmas Story. So I think Dale will love this. It is in very good condition and I was so happy to find it. So that is item number one. The next prompt is Oh Christmas Tree and you have to find one or two vintage Christmas ornaments. Now when I did go to the thrift shop, it was really hard to find something under $2 because of our really small budget. So I ended up buying this or getting this from my thrifted stash here at home so we will consider these free and not add it to that twelve dollar the first item i have is this beautiful heart with hollies and it says joy to the world and then it tells you 19 it looks like 99 monarch creations there so that is ornament number one and the next ornament here is also from my thrifted stash. And this guy was made from Hong Kong. And I love that his colors match the holly on this other ornament. So that is the two ornaments that we have on our list. So let me take these two out and show you the next one is called Happy Holidays. And we had to find two cards with a vintage or modern theme so i went to the discovery shop it's another thrift store here and they were having this is over thanksgiving weekend which was a black friday sale and these cards were 25 cents each and how beautiful is that and then here's another one and i think it is so pretty this is what the inside looks like so these are our two greeting cards Number four on the list of uh, the songs, My Favorite Things, we have to find an embroidered or slow stitched item. It can be Christmas or non-holiday theme. And at the same shop, the Discovery Shop, I found this cute coaster with the Christmas tree and it was a dollar. So I hope Dale likes it. I think it is so cute. She can put it on her desk, put her little coffee mug on top or put some of her tools on there. So if she's beading, she can also use that as a little container for a dollar. I thought it was so cool and has this wonderful stitching on it. And this is what the back looks like. The next one on the list is Santa Claus is coming to town. And then it's to find any item that has Santa on it. And this is something I had a hard time finding, but I did shop in my stash and I have this beautiful vintage framed image 
of this girl with Santa. I know Dale loves Santa Claus and she actually mentioned that she collects different um, things that have Santa on it. So I thought she would love this and you can see that this is definitely an old piece, but I think it is so awesome. So I hope she likes it. Now for number six, it's the song is Baby It's Cold Outside and we were to give a fabric bundle or a fat quarter. So again, this is something I had to shop in my stash and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But here it is. I have this beautiful burgundy fabric with a holiday wreath. We have some of the stars and stripes and then this beautiful fabric that I think Dale will really appreciate. So we have this cute bundle here. Now let's look at the next one and it is a Christmas Carol. And basically we were to uh, look for either songbook or one or two music sheets with holiday music. So Savers has a buy four, get one free. So I got this book for free and it is adorable. I love it. And this happens to have also a CD so she can play that. We have the lyrics of the song in here. How fun is that? But I did um, get this from my stash and it's beautiful uh, music and I, music sheets that I know Dale will enjoy putting in her journals. So here are some of the titles there and Shepherd of Galilee. So I hope she likes this pair. So let's look at the next prompt. It is Jingle Bells, Find a Christmas Pendant, Charm, Pin, or Buttons. So what did I end up getting? I got her some buttons and they were 50 cents each. So here it is and it has some of those fun colors and I think she can use this in her uh, junk journals. So the next one is Blue Christmas and Find Something Blue Christmas or non-holiday can be wallpaper, handkerchief, ribbons, and lace trim. So let me show you what I ended up giving Dale. So this was from my thrifty stash. I had purchased a roll of this vintage wallpaper and I thought it was so beautiful. And it has the colors of blue in all areas here. So I think Dale again will be able to have fun using this in her junk journals. And then we'll go to our next prompt and see what we had to find next. Number 10, our song is We Three Kings of Orient Are. So find a small gift box or holiday gift bag. So I did find this at the Discovery Shop and it's adorable Santa themed tin. I think it might have been an ornament before. So um, this was 50 cents and it is this is what it looks like in the back and I think it's super cute and then you can put some goodies in here for surprises so that's what it looks like and there's a little hole so that's why I was guessing that this might have been a cute little ornament back in the day number 11 in the song is joy to the world we were to find a fun quirky or fun novel novelty item it could be a keychain small figurine and anything else so i found this ornament and i thought it was so funny and cute for a dollar at the discovery shop thrift shop look at him and there's the price and i thought it was so cute and i think dale will get a kick out of this guy and since you know i'm kind of going with the santa claus theme i thought this would be perfect so this is number 11 item let's go to number 12. And number 12, the song is Christmas in Our Heart. It's to surprise our swap partner with a thrifted item of our choice. So Dale had mentioned in the past that she collects different Santa Clauses in different forms and, and also, um, what do you call it, from different countries, I think. But anyway, I found the Santa Claus and I snagged him as quick as I could. So it ate up most of my budget. So he was the most expensive one for two dollars and 99 cents but how adorable is this guy he has a cane a little trumpet i love his fuzzy hat and outfit let me give him a little spin so you can see what his back 
looks like. There are no markings, but I believe it might be a modern piece. But I hope Dale likes this version of Santa. And he's not really wearing red, the traditional red, but I think it is a good version and super cute. Alright guys, now we're going to do a flip through of the greeting card junk journal that I made for Dale. And as you can see with my Christmas card, I'm kind of going with a Santa Claus theme here. So let me show you what I ended up making. It is a Santa Claus card. We have a sari silk fabric closure and cute little bead dangle here. So let's open it up. It has, I think, a little over 12 pages probably 14 if I'm not mistaken, but we were supposed to do 12 pages. So let's flip through. So here is our cover. I have some of this trim that I got from a swap, but I love the colors of red. And then this is another trim that Asabi had gifted to me for a giveaway. So thank you for that. There is our stitching. On the back, we have this kind of velvety blue fabric that I've stitched and put on top of our card with this vintage uh, doily. And then I have a little maker's card there, cute little gingy um, Christmas tree there with peppermints. So when she opens it up, it is a stitched little postcard, with a little Christmas message, and then I have my maker's mark inside. So let me put this aside for now. Let's have a look inside our pages. This was so much fun to make. Here is Santa inside that greeting card. Isn't that cute? And I know Dale has, a, she's the queen of grungy and oh my gosh, her, her journals are so beautiful. So I tried. Here is a writing page. Did some distress ink there. Beautiful book page here with some reindeers. Now she can definitely add some pictures for the holidays, uh, for the countdown, or maybe notate or journal about our swap, whatever she would like. We have a little fabric tab there. And then on the next page, we have our Santa Claus book page here. And I think it's awesome. He's flying up there. Cute little mouseling. I hope you see that. And I love that vintage little uh, chair decor. We have some trim. We have some coffee dyed paper. This is a little accordion style little page that she can journal on. And then over here we have an envelope pocket. So it says uh, San Santa on oh, the North Pole special delivery and this is the official Santa mail. There is a journaling card here, did some stenciling there. And so she can use this. It says, Dear Santa, put it in there. And then we have some beautiful Christmas crafting pages. It says gift wrap, uh, did some uh, rub on sticker here that says joy. This is tea dyed paper with some of that vintage doily imprint. So I think this small journal makes a wonderful journal for like photos that you like to print. You don't have to do a lot of writing. Um, you can definitely do collages in this type as well. Here is one. We have this beautiful greeting card, gorgeous fawn, little moments. And when she opens it up, it's a journaling spot. More of the book page here. And here we have a wonderful scene and a beautiful excerpt from the book, The Night Before Christmas. And then here it's a silent night and I, I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs. My daughter Lil's first piano recital was um, Silent Night and it was so beautiful. Here is some, uh, some pieces from Sari and then some coffee dyed lace. We have more of the crafting paper, some scrapbook paper here. Here is a cute pocket and it has a journaling card of an altered time card that I had made back then with your creative studios kit. So let me pull that one out. 
So when you pull it out, we have our pocket. This is a tea dyed envelope. Did some, this is like um, decoupaging of some of the gift wrapping tissue. And then we have this holiday wreath. So for our time card, I just thought this was fun and quirky and I think Dale will like it. It is a fawn, not a fawn, a deer. And then you have a little oval window, some collaging here. It opens up to your journaling spot. And then on the flip side, you can definitely put a picture or write some stuff on there. And then more coffee dyed paper. Here's Santa, and I think that's such a cute image there. And then on this side, we have Santa putting all the goodies in the stockings. Love this snowy scene here. And we're coming to the end of our journal. So this was a message inside the card and I thought it looked too stark with the white. So what I did was use a die to create this scalloped frame and you have a beautiful message in there. Our trims are repeated here as they were in the front. And that is my little greeting junk journal for Dale. Here is another look at all the items that I am swapping with Dale along with this junk journal greeting card. I had so much fun with our scavenger hunt. I love thrifting. I love making junk journals and crafting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. A big, big thank you to all the wonderful participants that joined us. Again, if you want to join the giveaway, make sure to watch all the channels down below. Make sure to like them, comment, subscribe, and you will be entered to win a prize that I think you guys will enjoy. The drawing will be on December 17th, so don't miss out. Again, thank you so much and happy holidays. Bye.